Welcome to Things You Should Know, The Great War. Today we're going to talk about the punishment of Dinant that occurred between Germany and the Belgium locals in the local villages located near the town of Dinant, Belgium on August 23rd and 24th, 1914. The town of Dinant did take part in the battles between Belgium, France, and Germany. The story of that battle is actually mixed between the various battles, such as the Battle of Charleroi. The German army assaulted and secured the town of Dinant on August 23rd at 5 a.m. This was done by the use of 57 German artillery batteries bombarding the town. While the French army had moved away from the town to defend other areas, they did leave behind the French 51st Division, which maintained a small cadre men in the area. German infantry regiments IR-103 and IR-178 advanced into the area. The German infantry believed that the civilians were firing on them, in addition to the French forces. Three civilians were shot at the riverbank as they fled from the Germans. Later interviews with the soldiers revealed the Germans did not know if the civilians had shot at them. Later in the day, the 182nd Regiment shot 27 men in the Rue des Tanneries. They captured another man and tied him to the barricade as a human shield. When they were forced to retreat, it is said they shot the man that was tied up. By late afternoon, the Germans had started setting fires to houses. In Leffe and St. Jacquest villages, 312 civilians had been executed by the Germans. Near the center of Dinant itself, German Grenadier Regiment 100 was fired upon by French soldiers and took revenge by killing more than 160 civilian men, women, and children. In addition, some civilians in Dinant cheered the success of the French and their voices echoed off the nearby cliffs, making the location of the fire hard to determine. It is believed these unusual acoustics in Dinant contributed to the Germans' belief that the civilians were attacking them. The end result of the punishment of Dinant was 674 civilians executed, with the age ranging from old men in their 80s to children under 12. These actions contributed to a greater wave of atrocities known as the Rape of Belgium. These atrocities contributed to the American involvement later in the war. It should be noted, on May 6, 2001, Walter Koebel, a high secretary of the German Ministry of Defense, placed a wreath and bowed before a monument in Dinant to the victims bearing the inscription to the 674th Dinantese Martyrs, Innocent Victims of German Barbarism. Join us next time on Things You Should Know, The Great War.